Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Villain. I'm back with another video. The Hispanic community is the future. <laughs> um, if you remember, right after uh, Joe Biden was confirmed to be uh, the next U.S. president, um, the 46th president of the United States, he held a, uh, a meeting um, with the NAACP uh, board committee, co uh, uh, committee, yeah. and let's just say he wasn't the most polite person <laughs> during that uh, interview. Um, NAACP tried to basically make their voices heard. He low key shot, not low key. Actually, he shot them down. And told them, read this, read that. I already addressed that I will be doing this, this, and this, which have yet to transpire. Um, and he sat there and he stated, and I wish I could find that clip. I probably, I probably got that clip somewhere. But he sat there and he stated, out of his own mouth, he was like, the white population is dwindling. They're in danger. They, in which they are. The white population in America is in danger it's in danger their their population is dwindling they don't have enough kids they don't have enough kids they act their their death the the death rate amongst uh, the white community is higher than the actual birth rate so they don't give birth to enough enough kids and joe biden sat there and said and he said with low-key anger he was like the white population is dwindling you're not gonna be working with us. You're gonna be working with the Hispanics. The Hispanics are the community, uh, are the future. Y'all gonna be answering to them. <laughs> he was fucking pissed too. He was pissed. Go look it up. That NAACP meeting with Joe Biden. That happened, I think, in like uh, January or something like that. You can look that shit up. I posted it several times. But like, that's not the first time where like he showed his disdain for the black community. Like y'all just not y'all just not paying attention, bro. Y'all just not paying attention and y'all continue to show loyalty to this party that shows no loyalty to you. Now I've already stated this several times before. Like it, at this point, if you don't listen, you don't listen. Y'all see what's going on. It's up it's up to you if you choose to pay attention to it or not. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They sat there. Nancy Pelosi was like, the Hispanics are the future. Yeah. Yeah. They, they look, man. I tried, I tried to tell y'all. They don't like black people. They don't like the black community. They can't stand y'all. They only continue to pander to y'all because y'all are 13% of the population and y'all swing the vote. They can't stand you motherfuckers. They really can't stand us at all. At all. Why you think why you think the 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 Wu community community, why you think they was able to get some shit done within a short amount of time? They got more leverage than y'all. They got more leverage than us. We have no gross domestic power, bro. We have literally nothing. And then when you look up the term black and some of these law books, bro, like, we ain't, sh they literally feel like we ain't shit. We the bottom of the totem pole. That's why I keep telling people, like, yo, you might want to uh, refer to yourself as uh, uh, indigenous or aborigine because referring to yourself as African-American black, you got shit, nothing, zilch, nada. And then they already trying to take the civil rights, uh, the civil rights bill, which was Really, it's supposed to be about black equality and setting and giving black people a fair shape, which it really was never designed to really do that. But still, it was supposed to be predicated towards the black community. Now they're making it for everybody. They're making that shit. They literally like the Equality Act is infringing on the 1964 Civil Rights uh, Act. 
I'm like, nigga, they they think we the bottom of the toilet bowl. I keep telling y'all, like, we we the sludge, we the sludge at the bottom of the barrel, nigga. Like, for on some real, on some real shit. Like, that's just that's just how this uh, that's that's just how this government see us, and it's and it's very, 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 it's very obvious. It's very obvious. Look at the. I, I, I said this before. Look at the heroes that they choose to give. Look at the the history that they teach about you. They don't even give you. They don't even give you the truth. No, no. They don't even give you the truth. Truth, bro. Everywhere you turn is a lie, especially when it's predicated when it's directed towards black people. It's a lie. So I'm telling y'all this. Joe Biden already came out and basically said y'all stupid. He sat there and told you that your your blackness being labeled black is only a political is really only a political standing, which it is. I've sat there and I've told you that you calling yourself African American or black, you're limiting you're you're, you're limiting yourself. We're own we're owed a bunch of fucking land. We're owed a lot of shit. But what they did was they sat there and they switched it up and told you you came from some faraway place in all actuality you did. So, with that being said, stop letting the fear-mongering tactics get to you. Stop letting their tactics get to you because, like, what they did with Trump, with with, uh, with Donald Trump, it should have been obvious. It should have been. It should have been flat out obvious. Cause Joe Biden's saying the same shit, and they not doing nothing. They not saying nothing about it. They not saying shit about it. And y'all continue to show loyalty to this party. They 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 they, they played they they played us. They gave they gave us the okie doke, nigga. Like they gave us the okie doke, bro. They made you seem like one president was. I mean, they made you seem like one one opponent was racist, this, that, and third, blah, 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 when in all actuality, the person that they made, they, they got y'all to vote for was doing this shit for years before that motherfucker. So it's just like, come on, y'all. Um, just, just prepare for a very, very bumpy, bumpy, bumpy four years. That's all I got to say, man. That's all I got to say. But this is how they, this is how they look at y'all. They about to continue to talk, toss y'all to the side. That's how Democrats. That's how the Democratic Party do, bro. That's how both. In, in my in my opinion, I'm gonna just say this straight straight out, straight out. Neither party gives a fuck about you. That's just it. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Neither party gives a fuck about you. you anybody that sit there and shield for either the liberal de, uh, slash Democratic Party or the conservative slash Republican Party, tap dancing for these motherfuckers, telling you to vote for these bastards. They're paid. I'm just gonna tell you that straight up. Neither party gives a fuck about you because they're the same party. If you understand what I'm saying, there are two. It's it's two sides to a coin, and there there is it's two sides to uh to a quarter, my nigga, and they're the quarter. You understand what I'm saying? So it's the Democratic side, then it's the Republican side, but it's just that one entity, and that's what they are. They're, they're just one entity. Just understand. Just once you once you understand that, like. All of this shielding and bootlicking and all this bullshit that you see from like Candace Owens and then like from fucking uh, Mark Lamont, the Mark Lamont Hills and the Van Jones and all this other shit. Once you see, see these shit, uh, these fucking tap dancing ass niggas and their fucking rhetoric, you'll, un you'll understand where I'm coming from, bro. Like, you'll understand where I'm coming from. For the most part, one, we gotta stop identify identifying as just black. Because again, black meat and within the within America it means the bottom of the total pole. That meaning you're not going to get shit, you're not going to receive anything in return. You have no rights when it comes to this governance, when it comes to America, you have no rights. That's what black means, that's what African American means. That's what that shit means in America. Start tracing y'all lineage, my, my, my G. Start understanding where y'all came from. Some people actually did come from, quote unquote, African slaves. But I'm telling you, it was, it was a, uh, 
how can I say it? It wasn't economically sound to go all the way to fucking West Africa and grab your cattle from there. Cause that's what they uh, that's what they looked at us as cattle. So like it makes it, the, the like the financial aspect of it makes no sense. It's better to enslave people that was already here. The only thing is they had to start going out and going to West Africa and snatching motherfuckers up. Because again, the people that they was enslaving in the, Amer in the Americas, the indigenous folk, they knew the land. So they had to start shipping them motherfuckers to the Caribbean. I'm trying to tell you. But besides that, look, thank you for tapping into the Fake World Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share uh, my content, please. And again, don't let don't let the propaganda get to you, bro. Like, don't let them don't let them get to you because they lying. Everywhere you look, they fucking lying. That's what politicians are. Used car salesmen. They lie all fucking day. That's why. That's why I have more respect. And uh, I'll, I'll say I have more respect and more trust than fucking Donald Trump because Donald Trump wasn't a career politician. That's just what it is. Am I saying that he was gonna do? He was gonna do the best for the for the people, bruh. I expected him to do the bare minimum, and that's exactly what he did. Especially since they they made it, they made everybody into his enemy. If you understand what I'm saying, that's it. I expected him to do the bare minimum, and he did the bare minimum. That's just it. That's how I that's how I look at every politician. But besides that, thank you again for tapping into the Fake Woke Podcast. I appreciate the support. Thank you.